Oh, right now we have some YouTube shoutouts to do. Ellis Jr., T. Capo, and Dr. Exotic. Hello, Dr. Jeffrey. He actually saved my um, chameleon just a couple days ago. He broke his jaw. <laughs> oh. So Your chameleon know, broke my, his jaw? My chameleon broke his jaw. Mine got so a kidney infection. I didn't know that that was a thing. And well, it died. I think he what? You yeah. both have chameleons? I did. Well, I did. This is the weirdest He's show the we've ever done. <laughs> yes. Yeah, what welcome to, you? to the chameleon show. Aww. Cranberry juice. <laughs> All right, Mike, rock it. Cranberry juice. What are we doing? You, you got to read the thing. Well, it says Mike. Oh, so there's a new study out, <laughs> the best states for gun owners in 2021. Alaska was first, followed by Arizona and Wyoming. Can you guess where California is ranked? Find out after Dave tells us about SEAL 1. Well, you know some people enjoy taking the time to clean their guns, and we won't mention any names in the sink with hot water. How dare you. After going to the range, then there's people that just want to clean their guns and get on with life. And if you're in the second group, SEAL-1 is for you. SEAL-1 CLP Plus is an all-in-one solution that cleans, lubricates, and protects your gun. It's also natural, non-toxic, and environmentally friendly. Pick some up at Gunfighter Tactical over on Miramar Road or ask for it by name at your local shop. Clean your guns faster and better with SEAL-1. Use the code GOR25 for a 25% discount off your first order on their website at seal1.net. Who's our next guest there, son? Next guest is Craig Rosenstein. He's the founder of AZ Defenders, which is uh, a very cool group out of Arizona. And they did a, a, a cool study. Um, there was a new study where they ranked uh, the best gun owner states from 1 to 50. So I thought we'd have Craig come on and talk a little bit about it. Craig, how are you? I'm well. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And I, I what now? Tell us about what made you guys do. It's basically an index. You guys uh, compiled a bunch of information about different states and their gun laws, and it it, it actually ends up being a very cool guide um, for you know which states have what. Um, but what was the catalyst? What made you guys uh, do the the study? Like many good things in life, beer was actually the catalyst. Amen. Um, Craig, you and I are going to get along just fine. I already see that. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, this actually started with a conversation my brother and brother in law and I were having. We um, <clears throat> we had a couple beers. We're just sitting around shooting it, and uh, we're trying to figure it out. He's a, a southern boy, good old southern boy from the Panhandle, Alabama area, and uh, was living in Southern California. Moved out to Montana, and uh, we were trying to compare Arizona and Montana, and to decide who had the best and most favorable gun laws. And uh, we decided to come up with some objective metrics in order to do that. And, mm. and as a result, we put this together, and, and that's why God made interns. And ultimately, we were able to compile the entire list. So, what what are some of the what are what are some of the metrics that you guys came up with to, to judge each state on? Um, first of all, whether or not there's a constitutional carry, mm. um, or whether or not there's going to be a requirement for a concealed carry permit. Mm -hmm. Uh, whether or not you can open carry, if there's background checks and how substantial they are, uh, and a number of other, you know, there's about a half dozen dozen things that we kind of decided and waited and then kind of compared the states. What what did you weight them? Like was one more important than the other, or was it all right across the board? Uh, no, they were weighted. Uh, the, you know, whether or not you're an open carry state felt a little bit less than whether or not you were a constitutional carry. We thought that that was an important metric to use. Interesting. Um, and also there were some intangibles, like how often, like we, we tried to come up with the gun culture and then we used gun ownership percentages per state. So Montana actually edges Arizona out a little bit in that, in that one. And so we were able to uh, give Montana the edge there. It has about a 64% gun ownership rate compared to Arizona, which only had about a 48%. That actually surprised me living in Arizona. So the the big everybody everybody hates California, Massachusetts, Illinois. Um, everybody loves Florida, Texas, Arizona when it comes to to guns. Before you start talking about you know who came in what place, who was first, who was last, what's is there something interesting that 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 uh, they, when you were doing the study, did something you know pop out at you and and you know did you learn something interesting about maybe a, a state that was uh you know you was thought of as pro-gun but really wasn't all that pro-gun or maybe there was a state that was thought of as anti-gun that really wasn't all that bad uh the middle states so interestingly enough uh, I, I won't give you the number if you don't want it but illinois didn't fall down as far as i thought it was 
Well, what what number um, were they? Uh, Illinois was twenty nine. Twenty nine out of so they were they were the the twenty ninth out of out of out of fifty. So I yeah, we had fifty one. We threw DC on there. It was a little bit of a debate whether or not to even put DC on there, but we decided. Well, they're going to be a state it. soon. Did you hear that, Craig? They just voted. <laughs> Hopefully not. <but> yeah. <laughs> so there were twenty nine out of fifty one. I would have thought that Illinois was you know forty seven out of fifty one. That's interesting. What do you, do you what do you attribute that to? Do you think it's you know all Chicago and the rest of the state's normal? Uh, yeah, it, it had to do mostly with the um, the ability to get a concealed permit was it was technically a shall issue state now there's some caveats on that but the ability to get it outside of chicago for the from like a statewide perspective was kind of a determining factor there interesting all right so talk about so let's uh do you have the you, you have the list in front of you i do okay what are the what let's starting at number five let's go with the uh let's go work our way down to number one so number five is idaho idaho okay number four Montana. Number three, that makes sense. Yeah, Wyoming. And number two? My home state of Arizona. Nice. And okay, so who was number one? Alaska. We didn't neither one of us thought of that when we were putting this list. Alaska has <laughs> how, the highest gun ownership rate. How could you not no think rules. Alaska? Don't you watch that show on TV <laughs> where bears and, I wish and, I had time. Uh, yeah, yeah, and all these guys are trying to eat each other up there? <laughs> Heck, I think everybody has a gun in Alaska. Have you seen that show? I've, well, I've been to Alaska. Yeah, well. I swear, I think you, you get off the plane and they issue you a dog and, and a, a gun. gun and a huge jacket. Yeah, I can't think of the name of the movie, but it's on the History Channel. It's a series. And those people, for whatever reason, live up there, and they all got guns. I couldn't walk. To, it took me, it, it would, seriously, it took me like 45 minutes to walk a block because I'd have to stop and pet somebody's dog for five minutes. Oh, look at you. How are you? I said, they're bad. Like, everybody has a dog. Well, everybody. Yeah, it's so. called protection. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how we got off. To- okay, so let's, uh, all right, so what was number 51? What was the absolute worst state? California. Not a surprise at all. It was actually D.C. Washington, D.C. That makes sense. Oh, so let's make them a state. So, <laughs> so what number was, was California? 48. I knew it. <laughs> I was going to say at least 40, at, at least 45 or below. Jeez. Well, where did Florida fall? Only Florida? Massachusetts and New York beat out California. Wow. Okay, so Florida is kind of thought of as a as a as a fairly Florida is thought of as a fairly friendly gun state and they really kind of kicked off the shall issue CCW trend. Um but I'm I, I don't remember where they are on the list. Don't tell me yet, but I'm of the opinion that they're really not as pro gun as people think that they are. Um, it's really more of a reputation. I mean, they have some, uh, they they have some some a couple of goofy gun laws. Um, they keep proposing goofy gun laws. Now, to their credit, they they strike them down. But where did Florida fall on the list? Number thirty. Number thirty. All right. Well, that's, that's not, not too bad. bad. Yeah, it was right next to Illinois. You don't really think of those two as back to back with one another. But okay. Based now, on the metrics that we applied, they were. That's an interesting little factoid. Florida and Illinois are side by side on the on the on the list. That's. Right. Which means they're almost indistinguishable when it comes to being gun friendly, and they're different as night and day. Well, you, you would think. Well, yeah, you know. But I'm thrilled that California is at the bottom because they are <laughs> everywhere else. Education, yeah, tra- you know, schools. Whole, I like consistency is important. Right? I know. I like being at the bottom. So proud. So I proud know. of my state. I'm going to get a new shirt. What's it going to say? We're at the bottom, and we <laughs> love it. And pay more for it. And we pay more for it too. <laughs> Forty dollars shirt. So where do people find the uh, where do people find the study? Uh, on the website azdefenders.com. dot com. Um, it's az with a hyphen and then defenders dot com. Az hyphen defenders dot com. Now, what did, tell us a little bit about Az Defenders. What do you guys do? Uh, it's actually a criminal defense firm. I just did it through the firm, uh, but I do a lot of uh, teaching firearms classes, the shoot and then capital don't shoot courses in Arizona. And I'm the program attorney for U.S. Law Shield in Arizona and New Mexico. So we do a lot of firearm stuff. Uh, but honestly, we were sitting around having a couple of beers trying to figure out what would be, uh, <laughs> what the best states were. It was kind of a competition whether Arizona's better or Montana's better. Fortunately, uh, based on the agreed-upon metrics, Arizona edged out Montana. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that. So is there any beer left in Arizona? <laughs> I got, we got a couple for you out here if you want okay. to come join us. I'm coming. <laughs> are you getting? Now, is this something? You, are you guys going to maintain this every year? And it's going to become kind of a moving, a moving target. You know. Uh, yeah, we were gonna, we were talking about it. We had a, we had a really good time putting it together, especially when someone else was doing all the legwork. So we uh, 
we were talking about kind of updating the metrics and, and adding new things as new issues came up. And, yeah, we're going to definitely keep it going. So did CNN, MSNBC, Fox, did they all reach out to you to uh, get a copy yeah. of that? MSNBC was shockingly quiet. They didn't ask us for this list. They, right. they weren't interested. God. Did you get any press? I'm kind of surprised by that. I would think you'd get a little bit of press. Did you guys try to get any press? Uh, I kind of leave that to other people in the in the institution. Uh, I was actually just told to give you guys a call. And I, I, I was going ah, to say, I mean, other than the gun owners radio juggernaut, did you guys get any, you know, minor press, you know? below yeah, us we, we got we got i was i've been given some quotes so i've been asked for <laughs> quotes here and there and some statements here and there i bet you he's a lawyer what do you want to bet you're a lawyer right yeah yeah yeah. you I, can tell by the answers answer. i like that yeah there you go i'll hire you if i ever need you <laughs> well craig i really enjoyed <laughs> it um, I'm, a few, I'm a few guys one of the guys who ends up my card yeah <laughs> <laughs> go to az-defenders.com check out the uh uh, check, check out the study. Craig, you guys did a really cool job. I, I, it really is uh, kind of entertaining, but it's also very useful. Very much appreciate all the work you do. appreciate you putting that together, man. Thanks for being on the, on the show with us. Hey, that's the most entertaining Thank lawyer you. I've ever spoken to, <laughs> yeah. just so you'll know. Hey, folks. i to my chameleon now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Stick around. The next hour we'll be talking about Joe's Winchester 1300, Melissa Lee's gear review, and another stunt my nephew, and the wonderful mic drop. Thanks for watching this clip from Gun Owners Radio. You can watch us live every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. California time right here on our YouTube channel. Or if you're in the San Diego area, you can listen to us on 1170 a.m. We're also available on your favorite podcast platform for free. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can help restore and protect the Second Amendment, not just in California, but across the country.